Species. What does it mean? It can be extremely complicated, but understanding what a species is or how closely animals are related can help you understand how ridiculously complicated the web of life actually is. A species is roughly defined as a group of animals that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. For example, a giraffe cannot breed with an elephant. Hopefully. But a bulldog, a poodle, a chihuahua, and a wolf can all breed with each other. There can be huge changes in the way an animal looks, but if their genetics are similar enough, babies are possible. When two different species of animals have a baby together, it's known as a hybrid. Many different hybrids are possible. Some of the fun and interesting ones are a male tiger and a female lion, or a female lion and a male tiger, known as a tigon or a liger. There have been cases of wild and captive growler bears, a polar bear grizzly hybrid, I know, it's pretty ridiculous, and a zorse, a zebra horse hybrid. There are tons of other animals that can be hybrids. Some have fertile offspring and some can't. This is why the word species is so confusing. There is no exact defined line between one species and another. It's more of a gradient. And that's because animals go through natural selection, even among different populations within the same species. This may be a scary topic, but we need to ask it. Can humans breed with any other animals? Your first thoughts may be, ew, gross. But our closest related cousins, chimpanzees, bonobos, and gorillas, share between 98 to 99% of our genetic sequence, making all of us extremely closely related. To this day, there are no known occurrences of hybridization between our species and any other great ape. The web of human evolution is one of the most interesting, yet also confusing areas in all of evolutionary biology. We want to know where we came from. You can take entire courses on human evolution. But what you need to know for the scope of this video is that Homo sapiens, us, Neanderthals, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and other species slash subspecies of humans all interbred with each other. Now I'm not saying that there was a giant orgy of all different subspecies of humans, but some like to hop over to the other side and have some fun. Now you know that a species, even the human species, may not be as straightforward as you might have thought. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.